What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Raise. Catherine Langford is a talented and successful actress. Josephine Langford is a talented and successful actress, but besides choosing the same career path, the two sisters couldn't be more different from one another. And a little birdie told us that they don't talk about their careers in front of each other. Why hasn't Catherine Langford ever talked about her sister in an interview? Are they in some sort of feud we don't know about? And why does their tone of voice change every time an interviewer brings up the name of their sister during the conversation? It was just with your sister. Oh, really? Um, she visited the set of After in Atlanta, and she's like the biggest After fan on the planet. She's like read the Catherine is the oldest of the two sisters, being born two years before Josephine. Still, she started her acting career two years later than Josephine. She started her career with minor roles. They were largely small independent films like Story of Miss Oxygen, Quadrant, and Daughter. The last movie earned her an invitation to the Cannes Film Festival in France for the leading role in Daughter. In 2016, she auditioned for a TV series about William Shakespeare, but she didn't get the role and eventually wound up the lead in Netflix's original 13 Reasons Why, where she played Hannah Baker, a girl who commits suicide because she is bullied at school and leaves her classmate 13 tapes with 13 reasons why she decided to end her life. The popularity and the controversial character of the show earned her world-renowned fame and popularity in the States. She appeared on numerous late-night talk shows, including The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Her breakthrough role led to Catherine being cast in movies and TV shows like Love, Simon and Knives Out, where she starred alongside Hollywood stars such as Chris Evans, Daniel Craig, Ana de Armas, and many others. She even played Morgan Stark in Avengers Endgame. She filmed a scene with Robert Downey Jr. in the role of Iron Man, but for some reason, her breathtaking scene did not make it to the final cut. With movie roles like these, Catherine was rising quickly through the Hollywood ranks, and this meant more and more people were smashing the like button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. But no, in all seriousness, it meant that more and more people were becoming interested in her private life. Eventually, some of them began noticing she and Josephine Langford not only had the same last name, but they also looked alike. Inevitably, they started asking questions and getting interested in the private life of these two strong, independent actresses, and it turned out they were related. Josephine Langford, as we've already stated, started her career in 2013, two years before her sister. By the time Katherine Langford became famous, Josephine Langford had already made a name for herself. After starring in several small-budget independent movies, she managed to land a role in a movie called Wish Upon in 2017. That same year, she also played Emma Weber in an episode of Wolf Creek and then in 2019, we fell in love with her portrayal of Tessa Young in After. After the popularity of the first film, they made a sequel titled After We Collided, where Joe reprised her role as Tessa. Before the third After movie aired, we got to see our beloved Tessa, um, we meant to say Josephine, in Moxie, an American comedy drama directed by Amy Poehler. In 2021, After was turned into a trilogy with After We Fell, and in 2022, they released the fourth movie titled After Ever Happy, and it seems like in 2023, we're going to have the fifth movie in the series titled After Everything. Needless to say, our Josephine is out there working like a busy bee, and in many of the interviews, both she and her sister get asked about their family life and why they are almost never seen in public together. First, there was the interview with W Magazine where Josephine was asked about her sister and whether or not they share acting tips with each other. Josephine told the interviewer that they don't like to talk about their jobs when they meet. Probably that's because they want to spend the little time they have together having quality conversations instead of talking about work. Everybody asks me that, Josephine said, and honestly the answer is no. Not to sound arrogant, but we both sort of know what we're doing. Quickly after this, the fans started talking and speculating. They said that the Langford sisters were feuding. Many of the media outlets started talking about their relationship and why they aren't more like other celebrity siblings like Maddie and Mackenzie Ziegler, who were both cast in a movie like Dance Moms, and also we can't forget about Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio, who are doing a podcast together. 
In an interview with Refinery29, Josephine Langford talked about this when she said, I just don't understand the internet sometimes. I think that rumors are crazy. But was this rumor started just because Josephine Langford came out and said that she and her sister don't give each other acting tips? Well, not really. These rumors go all the way back to Instagram. Catherine followed a lot of people on Instagram, but her sister wasn't one of them. The same goes for Josephine following her sister on the social media platform. So during an interview, Catherine said the following, No one I know in real life has ever asked me why I follow this person or why I don't follow this person because everyone knows it has absolutely no correlation to people who are important in my life. I don't even check my Instagram feed. It's meaningless is what I'm trying to say. After that, when Catherine was promoting her new movie Knives Out, the interviewer told her that his wife is a major fan of the after movies and she has read all the books and then went out there to meet Josephine and do an interview with her. Catherine listened intently. The Fox 5 DC interviewer then smashed that subscribe button just like you should do if you have already. But no, seriously now. The interviewer then asked her if she had seen her sister's movie, to which she replied that because of her busy schedule, she has a lot of movies on her to watch list. Needless to say, this started off another series of speculation, saying that the two Aussie sisters don't watch each other's movies. However, we're here to tell you that that is not the case. The two sisters are out there working hard on their independent careers, and the fans are trying to find something that doesn't exist. Which which is why we think that sometimes we as fans try to find any evidence that will support what we initially thought, even if that means we have to overanalyze an interview and an honest answer to get to the bottom of things. And we'll let Josephine tell you more about this after seeing a YouTube video that gave conclusive quote unquote proof that the two sisters are feuding. My friend sent me a video the other day and we were laughing at it because somebody had picked up like a little thing I had done in an interview and they found what I did in multiple videos and stitched it together in a compilation. I think when you have limited content of someone, and I'm definitely not helping that, you just sort of take little parts of what you know about a person and you extrapolate it. Now, if you still don't believe us, let's talk about the interview Josephine Langford did with Holly Wire during the 2019 People's Choice Awards. The reporter asked her about Catherine and whether or not she would ever consider doing a movie with her sister in the future. To which Joe replied, I would love to. It just hasn't, I mean, it just hasn't like popped up in my emails. No, but that would be fun. Run any projects together in the future at all? I would love to. It just hasn't. Right. I, I mean, it, it just hasn't like popped up. So this goes to show you that the two sisters are not mad at each other. They're not feuding and they have no problems with each other. They just like to keep their relationship private and away from the eyes of the public. And if you ask us, it's good to want to keep some relationships out of the public eye. Sometimes it's just better. See you in the next video.